Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm gonna tell you the stock I'm buying, I'm adding to my portfolio today by the end of this video. So, before we get into all that, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. You know, hit the like and the thumbs up and all that good stuff. I do have a link down below in the description to Weeble. Get yourself two free stocks right now. It's worth up to $1,850. You only have to put 100 bucks in there. You can buy anything you want with that. I get one free share because I'm an affiliate. You're helping me out. I'm out here doing this stuff, you're doing that. It's a win-win for both of us. Now, I also have a link over there to my Patreon. If you want to see all my portfolios, what stocks I'm buying this week, and just how I'm doing, it is a fantastic thing. I think I have like, I have a lot. I have a lot of portfolios. It's all my investments I have over there tied up, and it's fun to watch as I'm buying and selling. You can see what I'm doing. We have a private Discord with thousands of members. We talk stocks day and night. It's a good thing to do. Now, I'm gonna go over the stock I'm buying. I'm also gonna talk about another stock, Tesla, that should have a lot of action come today, by the end of this day, with all the news coming out, the new, the ARC prices, Kathy Wood put that price out there. I did a video on that as well, talking about the future of Tesla and where this stock could go. If you haven't checked out my video on that, I highly recommend looking at that if you own it or if you wanna get into Tesla because they're calling for a possible, a possible move up to $4,000 a share. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well today. So stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. So at the end of the day, this is what we're looking at. I gave everybody an opportunity, as you can see right here, to take CrowdStrike, Teladoc, uh, NVAX, Fisker, Shop. You had a choice of these five stocks to buy for the new YouTube portfolio, and the decision has been made at this point. It is CrowdStrike. So I did go out and do a little research on CrowdStrike. Not that it matters, because I'm throwing 4,000 into it, because it was your decision of these five stocks. I did better this week. I got everything close. I'm trying to make sure I pick five very similar options so we don't have runaways like I did when I put out Tesla a few weeks ago and we had 70% on one stock. Now, I did look up some some CrowdStrike for those who are following along with this to give you a little update of what we're looking at. They just reported their earnings the other day for the fourth quarter and it was fantastic. They crushed and I was happy to see that. Fourth quarter they had earnings per share of 13 cents. The analysts out there expected eight cents. So they beat earnings per share by five cents, which is huge. It's uh, over 60% higher than they were supposed to be. And then of course revenue, they were expected to have 250.4 million for the fourth quarter. They actually came in at 264.9 million. They crushed that by over 14 million dollars. And that is huge, and so I'm liking that. So the bigger part is, was that just a one-off for CrowdStrike? Is this it? Were, them, were the numbers coming out just a good run for the third quarter between October, October, November, December, or is this gonna continue? And so I went out and found their numbers for next year. Analysts have them at 1.22 billion for 2022. Now that's not counting 2021. You can look up some of those numbers, but I was trying to get out there to see the next year. And right now analysts have them, like I said, 1.22 bill. They came out and they stated that we do not see it being 1.22 billion. We see it being 1.31 billion to 1.32 billion, up a full 10, or I should say $100 million above what the analysts have it at. So that is leading fantastic for them. And to get that increased money, you gotta expect increased subscriptions for this company. And they did, they went out and they added, over the last quarter, they added 1,480 net new subscribers. And that is up from 1,186 new net subscribers in the third quarter. They are crushing it. So when you pick this one, I agree with you. It looks like a winner. It looks like a long-term winner. And I think they're gonna do very well. That is the stock I am buying today. That is the best stock to buy. And well, it's by decision. It's by the group coming out, putting their vote out there and doing that. So I'm gonna be adding that to the, the YouTube viewer's choice portfolio, which I will be sharing again after we add that in there. But I did wanna take a look at some of the charts for this, just to let everyone see what we're looking at here. So right here you can see CrowdStrike and uh, they came out on the 17th, I believe, and, and they, they had great numbers. And you know, looking at it with those good numbers, it's actually lower 
now than it was when they reported crushing what everybody expected them to do, upping uh, by almost you know five to ten percent higher for 2022 expectations, and the stock's down. So that tells me it is following along a lot with the market. That the numbers are good, they're increasing, they're doing fantastic. And then we can take a look at kind of the last six months. We had that high. Uh, 242 and what happened of course we had the drop with the, the correction and the correction was hard on this stock as well but it looks like it's forming a nice base this looks to be the low and we know some of the EVs low, uh, bottomed out at that time as well so a lot of these growth stocks these industry leaders are hitting around the same time right here 179 and now it's back up about 10% off of there and I can see I can definitely see this growing especially with the numbers they're throwing out and retesting this high by the end of this year which if we go up $30 you're looking at 15% up I'm hoping it's gonna go well that's more than 30 40 uh, we're looking at 20%, a little over 20% growth from here. So if we get back up to the highs, we'll be over 20% up from this current. And I do think that's going to happen. And I think that's going to happen probably Q2, late Q2, Q3. We should be back above here as long as we have a nice recovery and everything gets to where I think it should be to start this next long bull run. And we're probably already started the bull run. I don't think we're going to go under the 12,400 we had in the NASDAQ. I actually think the NASDAQ is going to continue week to week go higher. And we might have some red days every week, but I think overall we're going to see a nice return to normal, uh, normalcy, if you will, in the NASDAQ. So that means with that happening, that'll put some of these higher. Uh, CrowdStrike, your EVs, your clean energy, some of your small cap, micro cap, call them penny stocks, call them whatever you want, but that's how I'm seeing it. But I still think we're going to have a lot of volatility for the rest of March, probably into April. And I think by the tail end of April, beginning of May, we should start seeing some much more positive news coming out, pushing the market higher. And that's what I'm hoping for. That's where, that's where I see things rolling. And I do think, and I always thought middle of Q2 through Q3 should be fantastic for us, should give us a good four or five months of solid growth uh, in the market, I'm thinking maybe even through Q4, depending on what the Fed does and anything can happen down in DC. I heard there talks of another stimulus check out there and there's all kinds of things that are going on. Now, another thing, don't just take my word on it. Of course, do your own due diligence. Anytime you're out there looking at stocks, remember this one was voted in. Uh, these are five stocks that I absolutely loved, but I, I did my due diligence and you can see this right here. Here are uh, a whole bunch of analysts looked at CrowdStrike right now and you can see what they have. Uh, here are four of them right here. You have the average 254, that's up 30%. That's what they see in the next 12 months. I actually think it's gonna get up closer to 275 to 300 range is my opinion. And that would push this up about 35 to 40% in the next 12 months. That's where I see this stock going. And I think it could easily do that. So I'm excited and we'll see how it does. Some people have it at 300, close to 300. That would give you almost a 50% upswing from here. Now on the low end, they do have 225, still above here, about 10 to 15% up. So from all the analysts, I like what I'm seeing, even the lowest analyst has it above the price we're at. So that's why I'm kind of excited about the stock you all picked today. And if you like this tip ranks, I do have a link down below in my description, highly recommend it. Love having all the analyst stuff here. You can see all these and they have all these from four days ago. You can look at all the different analysts from the different companies. Saves you a lot of time if you follow Jeffrey if you follow uh, RBC Capital and you got a Credit Suisse, JP Morgan, usually Goldman Sachs, you got all kinds of them. So that is one thing I like. Now, next stock, let's talk about this because there is a lot of action that's going to happen with Tesla probably today. We're probably going to see a lot of good things happening today because Tesla had that big report come out from ARC. They talked about the different prices. I think the mean, I think they, they ran their, their the Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, I think it was 34 different variables came out to approximately $3,000 price point in the next five years. And that, and they had a 25% chance of a 4,000 and then they had a 25% chance of a $1,500 price point. So between all that though, basically between 1,500 to 4,000. I can go with that. And that puts us at 654. Now that's a little over four years away. So the question I have is if somebody sold you buy this stock, you have 
pretty much really, really good odds of this stock doubling in the next four to five years. Do you consider that a good investment? Now, they said they see it at 3,000. That actually puts it up over four times your money in the next four to five years. Is Tesla stock price prediction going to hit that? Is that prediction solid? Now I'm in it for the long run. I actually do think this stock is undervalued at this point. I do think this stock should end up with their insurance business and the automated, the autonomous driving, if they get the robo taxis out there, the energy part of their business, and of course the automobiles and the, the batteries and all this stuff that they are coming out with in tech is so advanced. I think people are, do not understand how advanced this is and how it is growing. I do not have any other stations around my house that are EV stations. All I have is a Tesla station, basically eight, eight Tesla chargers over at the store down the street. I know I haven't seen any other companies reaching out there. I'm sure some of you out there have them around. I know there's a lot of different charging networks around, but for where I live, it's all Tesla. And so I like where I'm seeing that expansion because I, I think it's going to be big. And you can even see some of the articles here. Kathy Wood invests these Tesla reaching 3,000 a share by 2025. They go through it. I have a link down, or I have a, a video. I'll put a link to that video in the description. If you want to see my take on the whole report, I go through it. And I am very bullish on Tesla to begin with and the EV industry. And yeah, we're going to go through some ups and downs. And I know it's going to get some people who invest in it out. They're not going to want to be through those ups and downs. I definitely recommend some of the value plays for those who do not like the 30 to 40% up, 30 to 40% downs. The value plays will give you more stability and you can sleep nice at night knowing that you're in companies that earn good money. They don't need to keep going out and raising funds and it's a little less volatile. Now, these ones, these are growth stocks. I'm, I'm big on them. I'm gonna take those chances. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna touch this for five, 10 years and we're gonna see how it does. It's gonna help me someday sit back and buy a carbonated cherry slushy machine that I can put down in my basement, hopefully over at some beach house somewhere and just enjoy life a little bit and invite some people over and have some fun. That's my ultimate goal in life. So that's what I got for you. We'll take a look over here at Tesla stock price from, we can look over here at tip ranks and you'll see what we got here. 45% up, 27% up, 34% up, 18% up. Now, I'm thinking, based on what I'm reading from ARC, that you're gonna see uh, a lot more higher estimates going forward, especially with that 3,000 based on their calculations, their computer programs spitting it out, that I think you're gonna start seeing this number get a little bit higher. The fact is, we are already up at 880. I thought by the end of this year, we should be getting up there closer between 900 to 1,000 a share and that would push us up real nice from here, about 50%. And that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. And then next year, I thought we'd go up another 25 to 35% because I thought we're getting into that tail end of when he, when Elon Musk talked about a lot of the battery tech starting to roll out in full force and the manufacturing ramping up even more. And so I'm excited about some of that, but I thought after next year, that is when we are going to roll with Tesla and they can start really dominating, getting that scaling up, getting the prices down and just newest things they're doing. I think they have a lot of avenues for making money and, and I think they're gonna do very well. So that's what I have for you. And if you like all this, like I said, uh, I appreciate you coming over to the Patreon, subscribing over there, help me out, and I'll do my best sharing my picks, my portfolios and the private discord we have over there with thousands of members. Take a minute today, go down and hit that link in the description, get that Weeble two free stocks. You might get $1,850 for free. And all you gotta do is put a hundred bucks in and you can buy anything you want with that. And you're gonna get two free stocks no matter what. So you're gonna get free money no matter what and nothing beats free money. So that's what I got for you today. Let's hope for a great day. I'd love to have a great green week up at least 1%. That's what I wanna see by the end of this week. The NASDAQ was up at least 1% overall. So well, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. I appreciate everyone stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.